it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. man who needs no introduction, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> Steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimogamera. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here he is, the UFC Hall of Famer and former light heavyweight champion, the legendary Iceman Chuck Liddell. And it's amazing talking to our UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, who says he wouldn't even be fighting were it not for a guy like Chuck Liddell. And here is the Iceman, still motivated to get it done in the big show against all of these young athletes. And if recent results are any indication, still plenty of fight left in the great Chuck Liddell. Solid punch from the clinch here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is the oh, He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Nice level change. Oh. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Iceman. Oh, 
Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Just over two minutes to go. Side control now. He's getting them out here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to go. Oh, submission attempts in bunches tonight. Oh, he's advancing. And he's out again. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. This is a terrible position. Second round, straight ahead. Let the bodies hit. The floor, <laughs> what a round, multiple knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. There was one guy's body hitting the floor over and over and over again. So he showed tremendous toughness. But for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice. He puts Sean Shelby on notice. He puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know we have an exciting knockout finisher right in the midst of our presence. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round for yeah, you. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this run. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat No, he needs to look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. His misses are entertaining. Takedown defense holds up. The Iceman gets back up here. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, that's a nice strike there by the Mongo You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Back and forth we go. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Nice shot. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. The Iceman getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Liddell's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is gonna pay dividends later in the fight. Neil Billy, he's ran down ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's gonna get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No 
reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Big ground and ground. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. All right, looks like that Doris is tight. Oh, he's out. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the can. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather with the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Rounds here with a possible five. Leg kick lands. Another one. Straight right is there. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so he's sort of total up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Come on, come on now. You got to be the you are. Postures up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. His ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, huge elbow! He's very close to the finish here. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard back. Mago Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, it's tight. Wow, that is great submission defense. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise. Oh! Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Iceman. You see him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Side control. Change of the position. 30 seconds to go in the round. That Darce is tight. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good right. movement to avoid oh, that oh, damage oh. coming down. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, D.C., and look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, uh, he's feeling himself, and look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown.
Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed Ready to fight. put his opponent down. Ready. Yeah. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Our fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really... Oh, no! Power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. Nermago Maddox in half guard. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. to his feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for to try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nermago Medov. Great shot from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. To the mount. Try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Nice transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Oh. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.